In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a hamburger menu using Webflow. So right here you can see I have already prepared the hamburger menu. If I click on this hamburger, you can see we have a panel coming from the right side of the screen. And in this panel, you can add anything that you want. I'll walk you through a complete step by step process of creating this kind of hamburger menu. And this is completely responsive across the devices. That is, you can use this menu for the tablet devices, for the mobile devices as well if you are interested in learning how to create this kind of hamburger menu then stay tuned before we actually dive into the video have a look at my channel there I have a number of tutorials related to website development using WordPress Wix and other CMS as well I'm also creating a playlist on Webflow so if you are interested in learning be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. So now without further ado let's get started now. So the first thing that you actually want to do is to create a simple header. If you don't know how to create a simple header, I already have created a video on how you can create a custom header using Webflow. I'll drop the link of that video in the description. So go ahead and watch that video first and then you will be able to understand what is happening right here. So right here, if I remove this part from here, I already showed you how you can create this kind of header with a custom interaction using Webflow. So Proceeding from that part, at this part, I actually want to insert one more div here and that div will hold the loti file for the hamburger menu. So I want to call it hamburger, hamburger wrapper. So here is my hamburger wrapper. There is no anything attached except of this. So let me just remove this. And here you can see I haven't added anything here. So there is no any styling attached with this div right here. And inside of this div, I actually want to insert a loti file. And you can get all of these loti files from this website, loti flow. I'll drop the link of this website in the des description of this video as well. So once you will download this file from here, I already have downloaded this file. I want to drag this file inside of this div. And here you can see we have this loti file showing something like this. Now what you actually want to do is to adjust the width. So I'll make the width as 48 pixels and I'll change the height to 48 pixels as well. Well, so right here you can see this is how our hamburger is looking and these are all the navigation links that we have. Along with that what I actually want to do is to drag this navigation menu inside of this hamburger wrapper just like this. Once you will drag this hamburger navigation menu inside of this hamburger wrapper that we have just created. The next thing that you want to do is to go to this positions and from the position you want to ensure that you choose this fixed position and from the fixed position you can choose this right and once you will choose this right right here at the top you can see here are all the navigation items that we had. So first of all what you want to do is to give it a background color. So give it a background color I want to grab the background color from the logo. So here I have grabbed the background color. If you want, you can adjust the background colors, color any way you want. You can change it to black color as well. That is completely your choice, however you want to do. So I'll just grab a background color that we can use in order to move forward. So once you will insert this background color, this is how it will look. And from here, what you can actually do is to change this to or you can open this and here you can see we have all the navigation items and change it to flexbox and once you will change it to flexbox change it to vertical and here you can see everything is changed into vertical and once you will change into vertical what else you want to do is to give it a width so give it a width of 450 pixels or you can adjust the width based on your preferences however width you want but make sure you give it a height of 100 viewport height so that it should take the entire height of your user screen or your screen. Once that is done, now we can actually start adjusting the spaces between these items. So right here you can see now everything is stacked on top of each other. So in order to fix that, you can either align them in the center or you can align them in the center in this way as well. You can justify in the center or you can align them in the center. But just in case, for example, you want to do a few things here. You want to keep them justified at the top, but you want to have some space spacing here. And so in order to do that, what you can do is to use the padding. I'll give it a 10% manually. 
so give it 10 and here give it 10 as well so, and on the left and right side you can give it like three percent and three percent on the left and right side now if i hover where you can see anything highlighting in green is actually the padding all right now we can actually add some spacing between these items so in order to add the spacing between item choose one of these items all of them have the same classes i already show you how to create these kind of navigation item in the previous video that i linked in the description of this video so use some padding or some margin whichever thing you want to use so i'll use the padding and i'll give it a padding of 20 pixel on the top and i want to give it a 20 pixel on the bottom as well on top of that what I actually want to do is to change the typography and change the typography to the 20 pixels. So generally what happens is that the last item is a button. So make in order to make it a button, what you can do is to give it an additional class as call to action button. Call to action or CTA. Let me just give it a class of CTA. So I give it a class of CTA. Now once you will give it a class of CTA, you can actually insert a background color. So I'll click on this background. Now I'll click here and now I want to pick a background color for my logo so I'll use a pick a yellow color for my logo and then from here you can adjust the padding so right here on the top and bottom I have 20 pixels what I want to do is to give it 40 pixels from here and 40 pixels from here and I want to reduce some padding from the top and bottom for the button only so I'll change it 15 and 15 if you want to make the button even thinner you can give it 10 pixel on the top and 10 pixel on the bottom and then on the right and left side you can change these padding values according to your preferences or according to your needs once done in order to adjust the border radius you can go to this border part right here and give it a border radius of 360 pixel in order to make it rounded corners now i also want to change this uh, text color so i'll choose this color from here and i'll change it to white color and then i want to stylize the hover as well so i'll click on this hover now if i click on this hover i can actually change the background color so here is the background i'll click on this background and i want to pick the background color from the logo and here is the color that i want to keep all right for the pressed part i want to keep this color as well that's all now if i hover over this button you can see this is changing so in this way you can do all of these things as well if you want to align them in the center you can align them in the center just like this now that we have this stylized what we, we actually want is to bring our hamburger icon on top of this panel that we have created so in order to bring it on top of this you can adjust the position to the relative position and give it a z index value of 9 or 10 or any value just greater than uh, this z index value that we are using for the navigation menu wrapper so right here you can see this is showing something like this now that we have created this panel right here we can actually connect this panel with this loti animation of hamburger that we have right here you can also adjust as many things as you want in here using the these elements that you have available here i'm not going in details that how you can add more things inside of this panel so anyways in order to connect this panel with this panel what you actually want to do first of all is to hide this panel from the screen and one way to do that is to give it a negative margin so in order to give it a negative margin what you can do for now the width of this panel is 300 pixels if you will give it a minus 300 pixels it will move everything outside of the screen so this navigation panel is actually available on the website but for now it is outside the screen now let's just work on this interaction for this hamburger so in order to change this interaction first of all go to this loti animations then scroll all the way down and first of all change the cursor to pointer so that whenever someone hover over the cursor should change to pointer so that they can understand that this thing is clickable now go to the interaction panel and then from here click on this plus and from here click on mouse click and from the mouse click here you have the option to select our create your own interactions so from the actions click on start an animation i already have created a few animations here don't worry about this i'm going to show you how you can create your own animation so click on this plus icon here and give it a name anything that you want i'll name it as 
menu open and then click on this plus icon here first of all then click on this loti but before that make sure you have this loti animation selected here so i'll click on this loti and then from here you can adjust these frames by moving this bar right here for your loti file so I think at this 30 frame, I have this animation completed. So I want to keep this 30 for the Loti. And then I want to add one more animation part here. And that is going to be for the navigation menu. So I'll click on this navigation menu right here. Then I'll click on this plus and then I'll choose move. As you remember that we have added a negative 300 on the horizontal axis. So I'll add a value of negative 300 and it will bring our navigation back in the website panel. So now if I play this, you can see this is how this animation is working. You have the complete freedom to uh, modify the duration and delay any way that you want. So let's just make it 0 0.2. And if, if we play it now, you can see it is bit sudden now. So in this way, you can play around with these numbers to get the perfect interaction that you want. Now we want to adjust the animation for second click as well. So in order to do that, once again, you can what you can do is to click on start an animation. And from here, if you remember, we have select created this animation menu open. You can duplicate this animation and open this animation and this time rename this animation to menu close. And from here, what we actually want is to change everything back to original position that it had. So bring the loti back to zero. And for the navigation where we have negative 300, change the value back to zero. Once done, you can click on save. And now if we preview this, and if I click here, you can see now we have a hamburger menu with a panel moving from the right side into the screen. You can do the same thing for the left side of the screen as well and from the top of the screen as well. That is now totally up to your creativity. So that now we have created this for this desktop version. Let's check this on the tablet version. So on the tablet it is working just fine. We just need to update some paddings here. So let's just fix some paddings. So I'll choose this navigation panel again. I'll have to go back to this style tab. And from here, I'll have to adjust this value and I'll change it back. Don't worry. So for the navigation wrapper, we have 10% on the top and the bottom, but you can justify this in the center for these tablet devices. And then you can remove these paddings because they are no longer required because we have justified the content in the center of the screen. So this is how it will look on the tablet devices on the mobile portrait. You can see this is not looking fine, but part of the reason is that we need to adjust a few things here. And that is the position right here is set to relative and we want to change it to fixed position. And as soon as you will change it to fixed, you have to make sure you select this right panel here and as soon as you will select right panel here you will notice that your side panel will be fixed again so this is how you can fix it in this part as well and this is looking just fine here